The Statue at Sea by Justin's Nirvana. It was a quiet night. The captain maneuvered the ship as the crew sang merry shanties, with not a problem in sight. Are we on track? asked the captain. Aye, sir. We shouldn't be too far now, replied his first mate. I sat on the corner of the deck, leading up to the helm of the ship, quietly scribbling away on my journal. Ahoy, captain! There be a statue as high as the clouds up ahead. He yelled the lookout up on the crow's nest. Without even a pause to breathe, the whole ship fell silent. Everyone's gaze fell upon the front of the ship. We waited, staring into the dark abyss for what seemed like an eternity. Then, lo and behold, a statue of a woman wielding a sword pointed at the ship appeared out of thin air. A feeling of fear and fascination crept upon me as I could not turn away from it. We passed it a few moments later, and as quickly as it appeared, so did it disappear into the darkness once again. Everyone was speechless for a second, before the hearty shanties resumed and began to fill the air with the feeling of ease once again. Everyone went on about their business as I continued where I had left off in my journal. A few hours had passed as the captain once again yelled, Are we still on the right track? This time the first mate's response was not as confident. It says we should be at port right now, he replied. Well, as you can bloody see, we aren't. Just as the captain finished his sentence, the whole ship suddenly fell silent as, once again, everyone's gaze was locked upon the head of the ship. And from the darkness, it came... The statue appeared once again, as my previous feeling of fascination had left and the feeling of fear increased. Once again, we passed it quickly, as it returned into the void. But this time, no shanties were sung afterwards. Everyone just sat quietly, hoping not to run into the statue at sea once again. And as time went on, no side of that hellish figure was seen. I sighed with relief as I struggled to get the vivid image of it out of my head. When I finally did, I reclined on my chair as I closed my eyes, hoping to find rest. However, as my body relaxed, ready to sleep, I felt a drop of water hit my nose. Immediately following that, the man atop the crow's nest rang his bell, signaling a storm. The crew scattered, preparing to brace for impact. The captain bravely held the wheel, taking control of the ship as his first mate guided him. I held on tightly to the rails of the helm as I prayed, hoping that some divine intervention would come and save us. I prayed hard, and when it finally seemed as though the storm would subside, I opened my eyes and was greeted with the sight of the damned statue again. It swung its sword on its arm, taking off the sail of the ship, along with the lookout upon the crow's nest. We were at a standstill face to face with a demonic structure and the forces of nature. It pointed its sword at the captain as a thunderous voice erupted from it. Guilty! The rain blew violently and the rain poured as the ship was surrounded by a dark aura. It swung its arm once again, cutting through the entire ship. I stood strong, holding the rail and prayed my heart out. Tears erupted from my eyes as I, and the entire ship along with the crew and captain, began to sink. It didn't take long for the ocean to devour us. I looked up at the sky as I said my goodbyes, knowing this could be the end of me. That was until I felt something push me up. It was the statue. It looked deep into my eyes and, in what seemed like an act of pity, placed me onto a floating plank of wood. As I drifted away, I looked back to see the statue return to its original position and, for the final time, disappear into the dark void, never to be seen again. I woke up in a hospital, surrounded by my family. They greeted me and asked what had happened. I simply replied with, bad weather. To this day, I still don't know or understand what happened or why it let me live.